In this video, I'm going to show you 10 draw moves that will help your footage stand out amongst everybody else's. Stay tuned. What is happening, everybody? It is your boy, Sean Alami, and all whatever you are, you are being fabulous. Remember back in the day when having a drone used to be a luxurious tool for even filmmakers and photographers? I'm talking 2015, 2016, back when any aerial footage looked like it was from a whole nother planet. Fast forward to 2022, now all content creators have a drone. Not only that, they've made consumer drones for everybody else, and roughly 15% of Americans have flown a drone according to US drone statistics. That's roughly 49 million people in just the United States in 2021. That's insane if you think about it. By now we've seen so much aerial footage that it's safe to say it's definitely lost that wow factor that it used to have before. Now in a situation like this, as content creators, what do we do if we want our footage to stand out? Well in this video I'm going to show you 10 drone moves that will definitely help your drone footage to be unique. So without further ado, let's begin with number one. Before we start, I want to talk about something that is very critical and very important, and that is the importance of understanding the art of composition. If you know how to set up a complimenting composition, that's great. But if you don't, I absolutely recommend and I suggest that you educate yourself on this topic because if you don't have a great understanding of composition, regardless of how nice the drone move is, your shot won't be as appealing as you want it to be. to start a scene is by establishing your environment with a wide angle shot. And we do that by pushing the drone forward and establishing the location. But we're gonna make it a touch interesting by flying the drone close to an object as we push in. We are now introducing a foreground element which will help the shot with a depth and it will definitely make it more cinematic. So we start this shot by looking down with the camera of the drone and as we pull back we slowly start to tilt up the camera. This will reveal the background while you're moving back and it changes the perspective of what you were looking for from above. And I usually use this technique when I want to show a nice building. Now I'm sure you've heard this one before, I'm going to show you what a normal parallax looks like, but I'm also going to give you a couple of tips that will help you take your parallax game to the next level. But like I said, first let's have a look at what a normal parallax looks like. I want to say this is one of my favorite drone shots ever, and I believe this is the first move that comes to my mind when I'm filming something. Just because of the fact that you have your foreground moving in one direction and the object is usually at the center of attention and you got the whole background moving into a different location which makes the whole scene look very cinematic and very unique. But now let me give you a tip where you can kick it up a notch with your parallax. So here I have an object and I want to parallax the hell out of it, right? So instead of just looking at it straight with the camera and then starting the parallax move, which is an orbital movement. I start with a lower elevation and I tilt my camera up just to get a nice composition of the object. Then I slowly start moving to my desired location and as I'm doing that, I raise my elevation and at the same time, I'm going to tilt the camera down very slowly. So we got three movements going on all here at the same time, which makes it a little bit complicated. But one tip I can give you is to put your drone mode on cinematic mode if your drone has this option, because this will definitely help you perform these maneuvers. If you don't have it on cinematic mode, I gotta say it's gonna make it almost impossible to perform these. Now 
Now this drone move is ideal when you're standing on an edge of a clip. This will make the background move in a really interesting way. So when you find yourself in such similar environments, simply just move in, tilt the camera down using the wheel on the controller. Alright, when would you perform this? Usually when I have a big enough object in front of me and I have some hidden space where I want to reveal later, like an ocean or I want to show a height of a platform of that object that's been placed on it. Like this in this example here in Mallorca, the camera is looking straight on. As the drone moves up, we tilt the camera down and we reveal the height of the cliff, which we didn't know it existed. And in this other example, I'm doing the same movement, but exactly in the opposite direction meaning lowering my elevation and tilting up instead, very slowly, revealing the beautiful horizon line of the ocean. Now another example of the same movement this time, I am introducing this beautiful town in Austria by using this movement. favorite maneuvers to perform and it makes the shot really dynamic and it takes your shot away from your typical drone shot which is up in the air in open space and pretty much anything that separates me from that I'm all for it. In most cases you're gonna have to turn the sensors off of the drone because if you have them on it will not allow you to get close to objects. To perform this maneuver it is very important that you have your drone in line of sight at all times while you're flying. I even recommend having a second person so they can have the drone in line of sight while you focus on mastering a perfect shot. I fly low a lot personally and I know the point of having a drone is to fly high but genuinely I really enjoy flying close to the ground because it gives you the ability to perform one of those feature film cinematic long shots where the drone is a gimbal shot and it's a long shot and it eventually turns itself into a drone shot. This is another technique used to establish a shot very similar to the first one that we did. The only difference is here you're tilting up as you're pushing in, but we're still flying close to a foreground object. Now this might be a very simple one, but I gotta say it is very important to have this shot in your sequence. Especially when you're in your location, when you know there's some sort of a nice platform or a landscape going on, you can fly high and look down and get a nice view of that baby. A 
And number 10, the tip I'm gonna give you is to leave some room for your creativity. And just fly your drone around, mix the camera movement with the movement of the drone. And you never know, you might end up inventing your own drone shot. For example here, I'm not following any rules. I'm just playing around with the perspective here that this unique architectural building is offering me. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope that you found this video useful. In this channel, I talk about anything that has to do with the topic of filmmaking and photography. So if that is what you're into, hit that subscribe button so we can see each other again. Hit that like button. Until next time, ciao.